Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? Crazy Al Kane. It is now July 7th, 2020, and I'm about to give you an update on what's going on on sugarcane.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling real good right now. You know, um, a lot of things have been going on in BMX, even though the world is collapsing and everything is going to hell. A lot of good things are happening in BMX, and I've been posting up a lot of stuff on the website to let y'all know what's goody, 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 goody. So let's get into it. Let's just go right to the site so I can break down all the featured articles that have been posted on the front page of sugarcane.com, all the good news and that stuff like that. So let's get into it. So first up, boom, check it out, son. That's right. Eleven is making tapered chromoly forks, son. I'm pretty hype about that because my bike has a tapered headset and I really wanted to ride a chromoly tapered fork because um, it just looks a little better. You know, since it's tapered, has a tapered style, it just looks more aesthetically nice having a tapered style fork with a tapered headset. The other reason why I like it is because it's chromoly. I like riding chromoly when it comes to forks and handlebars. I don't like messing with carbon or aluminum, even though they're good, they're strong on good stuff. But me personally, I just like chromoly. I know what's gonna happen with my chromoly when times of failure happens, when I, when I hack and when things get messed up. The actual steerer is uh, one and one eighth from the top until you get to the bottom where the actual integrated headset part comes in at. So if you have a head tube that doesn't taper on the inner part of the head tube, then these forks are good for you as well. The sugar cane bikes actually have a head tube that's tapered on the outside, but on the inside, it's still one and one eighth from top to bottom. So this fork actually uh, can fit in the sugar cane. Well, I'm hoping, I haven't got one yet. I haven't got the, the, the forks yet, but I'm hoping that uh, that these forks can fit in the sugar cane bikes, which is pretty dope. I like the head tube style that I have on my frames currently, but uh, I couldn't get it where you could actually um, have them tapered on the inside because of the way it's the way the bend is. So it looks unique, but unfortunately, I kind of miss out on having the option of running uh, different types of tapered forks on the sugar cane frame. But the other good thing though is that it's actually like super thick on the bottom down. It's really it's really reinforced for people who like to ride hard and do tricks and stuff like that. So you know, the sugar cane bike is kind of like a universal kind of racing bike even though it's aluminum and it has a, a racing pedigree it's something that uh, i made that is kind of all uh, all around riding so you can take it to the trails and take it on the street if you want to and have fun with it so shout out to 11 shout out to pete deluski over there the whole uh bmx racing group for always doing some innovative stuff and keeping uh the the top notch bmx parts in the game so let's move on to the next thing Next up, we have a Bike of the Day feature, which is a pure V5 Pro XL sent in from Jason Dalton. He's got that sparkly turquoise colorway on the frame with the white decals, and he's got those red parts that really offset everything and make it look pretty fresh. I like the bike, and I want to know what you guys think of that bike. So definitely come to the website, sugarcane.com, go to the article, and fill out the ratings sliders so we have a bunch of sliders on the page where you can go and you can rate the bike and let us know what you think about the color the originality the parts and the overall style some honest opinions about what you think about the bike because at the end of the month the top rated bike will win bike of the month and we give out medals for things like that maybe you want to send your bike in do you want to send your bike in do you think your bike is just as fresh as this bike if not better well, you can do that. Just come to the site. We have all the information on there to let you know how to submit your bike. But I will tell you right now. What you got to do is you have to email me high-res photos of your bicycle. I don't want to have pictures that are cut off, though. Don't cut off the wheels. Don't cut off the handlebars. Don't cut stuff off. I need a full picture of your bike in high quality. I need the high quality file. So that way, in case I need to edit or crop or cut things up, I can do that. So definitely send me that. I want to get the left side of your bike, the right side of your bike. Some close-up of your parts. So a close-up of your stem, a close-up of your cranks, close-up of your wheels, your hub, stuff like that. That's what I need. When you're shooting pictures of your bike, please use a nice background, something that's not really busy. Maybe a nice wall on a nice sunny day or even an overcast day as long as the lighting is good. I also need a full parts list, full parts list of everything you got on your bike because people are going to want to know what kind of parts you rock. If they like them, they might like the, your stem, they might like your, your wheels, your pedals and want to know what kind of what kind of parts you run. And then after that, I need the inspiration for your build. So let me know the inspiration for your build. Why did you build this bicycle? 
What was the reason why you were inspired to build this beautiful bike? In the email, send it to sugarcanecom at gmail.com. And if I like your bike, if I like what you uh, sent me, then I'm gonna post it. That's just how it works. To me, a BMX bike is any bike that looks like a BMX bike. Any bike that you can do a bunny hop on and jump on and actually the frame actually looks like a BMX bike, that's a BMX bike, okay? So it doesn't matter if it's a 29 inch, doesn't matter if it's a 27.5 or a 26 inch or a 24 inch, doesn't matter. It's all BMX bikes, all right? Like a big ripper is nothing but a big PK ripper, right? A big ripper is nothing but a big PK ripper, right? It's the same exact damn bike, okay? So that's why I'm saying BMX bike. The only thing I don't want is stock bikes and I don't want bikes with front suspension, okay? Even though I still consider hardtail dirt jumpers BMX bikes. They're just BMX bikes with front suspension. But that's a conversation for another <laughs> time, okay? Because that can get kind of heated. Next up on the list, we got these Nikes, man. Nike drop sneakers like Caspi dropping mixtapes out this joint, all right? So they got these new incandescent style swoosh joints, multiple swooshes on them. It has the, the, the regular swoosh, but it also has that other upside down swoosh that goes into the midsole and it comes out in the back and stuff like that. It's some totally new, different kind of stuff. It's got the, that incandescent colorway on the swoosh and they look pretty fresh, I like them. They come in black, they come in white, and I think they're out now, so if you wanna you know, turn some heads and, and, and make people look at your sneakers like, what the, what the heck? Definitely check those out. Uh, more information about them is on the site. And uh, shout out to Nike for, for keeping it funky. Next up, we got another bike of the day entry. This is a 4 Nix Atom Pro. Um, they call it the Atom 2 Pro, actually. Sent in from Johan Dadler. He's the one who sent in that beautiful blue 4 Nix last month. And he's also the owner of 4 Nix. And uh, he sent this bike in. It's got that beautiful polished colorway with the red and the blue and um, representing France, of course. I just like the frame, man. And, you know, polish is what's up. Come to the website and give this bike a rating. Like I said before, you can rate the parts, you can rate the color, you can rate the originality, you can rate the overall style. That gives the guy a total rating. After you rate the bike, that gives him an overall score. All the bikes are pitted against each other. Whoever has the best overall score winds up becoming bike of the month, okay? And right now we're in the July competition. So make sure you come back and rate that bike. MC, activist, and one half of the group run the jewels. Killer Mike got a custom bike made from State Bike Co. And they um, hooked him up with a custom 26 inch BMX bike. I never knew Killer Mike was in the BMX. I'm trying to find out what's going on with that. Anyhow, they made this bike for him and they also made an extra one for themselves. They wanted to keep one in the stash for themselves. Eventually what they did was they went to raise funds for a bike club called the Los Angeles Bicycle Academy. And the Los Angeles Bicycle Academy, they like to help out uh, kids with getting into the cycling industry, also competitive cycling and getting them prepared for, for racing and exposing them to the whole world of cycling. So it's a really cool program that goes on in Los Angeles and State Bike Co. wanted to help them out and support them. So what they did was they took that extra Killer Mike Custom and they gave it away to raise funds to support the Los Angeles Bicycle Academy. What happened was there was like a crazy response. They raised like $10,000 and everybody was you know, freaking out about the bicycle. And now what they're gonna do is they're gonna make more available for people to, to own. So Killer Mike is gonna have his own custom BMX bike made by State Bike Co. and they're gonna have them available for people to buy. They wanna get some feedback from people to see how many people may want this bike. So I think it's pretty dope, man. You know, anytime they mix hip hop and stuff like that with BMX, it's always a dope thing to me. And um, it also helps to get more kids on bikes. It's all about getting more kids on bikes. I don't care if they're 20 inch, 29 inch, 26 inch or whatever. If you're getting kids on BMX bikes or just bicycles in general, that's what's up because you know, especially in this time, we need to be healthy. We need to be strong. We need to have things to do, you know? We need to keep our minds occupied and, and keep our minds sharp. So the exercise you get from riding bikes and things like that will definitely keep you sharp. And uh, shout out to, uh, to Killer Mike and State Bike Co for representing for the cycling community. But what I wanna see is I wanna see Killer Mike on a bike. I don't, have, I don't see no pictures of Killer Mike on a bike. I went to his Instagram page. I see all kind of other pictures. I ain't even seen pictures. I haven't even seen pictures of this bike on his website. So I need Killer Mike to step up his game, post some pictures of his bike, 
Number one. Number two, I need to see him on the bike doing something. Either riding or wheeling or, or something. He needs to do an endo or take his foot off the pedals or something. I need to see him on a bike, okay? Next up, we got this beautiful bike. This is the Mike Aiken reissue from the 2008 frame that came out. The S3.5. It's a limited release and uh, it's just a beautiful frame, man. Like if you're in the street, if you're just in the bikes, man, it comes in different colors. But my favorite color is this tan colorway. That's the one I wanted to post because it's just a beautiful looking frame. It's got the tan colorway. It's got the black and yellow, which looks really good with the tan. And uh, I just like the way the, the frame looks. I'm going to be posting more dope frames, more just good looking frames that are in the game, you know, whether it's freestyle, whether it's street, whether it's a racing bike, doesn't matter. As long as it's BMX, I'm posting the fresh frames. Next up is the SE Dynasty going on right now. These dudes are SE bikes. Todd Lyons and the whole crew, man, they just are just on fire right now, okay? They're on fire. They're selling bikes off the shelves like hotcakes, and I'm loving this new city series. You know, they're doing uh, the Big Ripper, in different colorways that represent different cities. The bikes have just been flying off the shelves. Y'all know from the last video I did that I had a poll that I set up for the uh, New York City Ripper and the LA Ripper. But now we have a Philly Ripper. I made a whole new poll actually, added the Philly Ripper to the poll so people can go there and pick which bike they like the most. You can actually pick two bikes actually. So say you like both bikes the same, you can pick two bikes um, and, and let us know which bike you think is the best for you. What I did is I made a whole new article and it's called it the Battle of the Big City Rippers. Every time a new SC City bike gets released, I'm going to be putting it on this list and repinning it on the front page of the website so you guys can go there and you can fill out the poll and pick which bike you like the best. You know, this is fun. This is a really good time in BMX right now and I'm, I'm really loving what SC Bikes is doing, man. They single-handedly got so many kids on bicycles so many people on bicycles. They got the old guys back on bikes. They got other companies making big bikes so they can get other people on bikes. So it's just all been expanding for the last couple of years now. And it's just a beautiful thing. If you're a fan of BMX, if you're somebody who loves BMX, loves this bike thing, and, and, and loves all aspects of BMX and bike riding in general, then you gotta love what's going on with SC because they're really, really growing the sport of BMX. Um, and when I say the sport of BMX, I mean all aspects of the sport. So, you know, we have different sections of the sport, but we're all interconnected in this BMX thing, all right? Next up, we have the Philly Ripper article. Definitely come to the site, check it out. That bike also sold out really fast, and probably the other ones will too. Big up to SC Bikes. They're just killing the game right now. Now, here is another Bike of the Day feature. This is a beautiful Daylight Arc C1. It's got that gray, charcoal gray colorway. It's got the whole uh, Star Spangled thing going on, but it's grayed out. But the cool thing about this bike are the subliminal details. He's got a red hub on the front and a blue hub on the back. This bike was submitted from Trevor. Trevor from Heckler Racing out in Jersey. I think this is like the third bike that he submitted this year so far. You know, if you have a bunch of bikes that you want to submit for Bike of the Day, go right ahead, submit them all. I don't care. If they look good, I'm going to post them. He made this bike in celebration of his son's graduation all ceramic paint on that bike so there's no like decals no sticker decals everything is painted on and uh the bike is just real fresh man like this bike is like do you ride it or do you keep it on a pedestal i would ride it and then probably put it on a pedestal <laughs> but now nah, this bike is fresh shout out to trevor for sending me this bike make sure you come to the site and rate this bike for the july bike of the month competition it's going to be crazy we have so many fresh bikes that are coming in and this is definitely one of them. Next up, we got the Goon, made by Throne Cycles. This bike right here is another hot 29 inch bike. Um, a lot of cats in LA been rocking them. We got dudes in New York rocking them. A lot of people been rocking these bikes. But their latest colorway is this beautiful oil slick colorway. I don't think I've seen a 29 inch uh, BMX bike in the oil slick colorway. So this was totally something fresh for the 29 inch BMX crowd. And that bike sold out pretty fast. It sold out in 30 minutes. They've really been going in with the whole bike life movement. Shout out to my dude, Rusted Jalopy, doing things over there. He's been really holding it down. And um, I want to see some Thrones on the bike of the day list. I need anybody who's rocking the Throne bike right now. Anybody rocking the Throne goon, definitely submit those bikes to the bike of the day list, all right? Because I need to see some of those joints. I need to see some SEs on the list, too. I don't see nobody sending the SE uh, Big Rippers. 
any one of the SC. Send, send me a send me a big ripper, a OM, a, a fast ripper, any one of those joints. Let me see those bikes on the list. We need to get some more of the big bikes on the bike of the day list. All right. So shout out to Throne, shout out to Russell Jalopy and the whole movement. Shout out to Block Boy Fame. Next up, we got the Union Square sneakers. Jimmy Mack is coming up with some new designs. He's coming up with some new joints. They have them in the mid top and they have them in the low top. And they're coming um, at the end of this month, actually. I think you can order them at the end of this month. Definitely support Jimmy Mack. You remember Jimmy Mack. He's doing this Union Square thing and these sneakers are hot right now. So definitely come check him out. The sneakers are not just coming in black. They're coming in multiple colors. These pictures are some leaks that he sent out to let people know what he's got cooking up. Yo, so Shanae's Reed is back on a bike. Back on a BMX bike. She's a two-time Olympic athlete. And she's a five-time BMX and track world champion. Shanae's Reed. All right, she's back riding the BMX bike. She was on Instagram teasing us with some pictures of her on the bike. And she said she was going to show us some videos of her riding and stuff on the track. And I got the video on the website. So definitely come to the site and check it out. She's been working out crazy hard. She's a personal trainer now. Seeing her back on the track is pretty dope. And it'll be awesome to see her come back and do some racing on the track and see how she does against the elite women in the game right now. It'd just be interesting to see because when she was on top of her game, she was killing it. So right now it looks like she's really going to be on top of her game as far as her fitness. So it'll be great to see how all that training transfers to the track. And the last feature on sugarcane.com is this 2020 Mongoose Title Elite Pro XL sent in from Jeremy Innerb. And it's another bike that has been submitted for the July Bike of the Month competition. Come back to the site, check out his bike, rate it, parts, color, originality, and overall style. So that's it for everything that's featured on the front page of sugarcane.com. I love to hear the feedback. I love to hear your comments. So definitely leave some comments below. Let me know which article you thought was your favorite what product you thought was your favorite. I'm gonna try and post a lot more articles this week, but this week is gonna be mostly production. I'm gonna be producing some more stuff, creating some more original content. I got a new bunny hop face off video I'm working on. And it's a couple of other things I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button because I'm gonna be posting a lot more things to this website. I'm gonna be making another beat video soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I have some other concepts in my head different things that I'm thinking about. Original content that I'm going to be putting together. So stay tuned for the original content that I'm coming up with. So this is Crazy Al Kane, sugarcane.com, C-A-C-T-V forever. And you're watching the Sugarcane update. Stay tuned for the next one when we do this. All right. Back to you, Billy. Yes, you, Billy. Back to you, Billy.